Okay guys, um, sorry I haven't done a production update in a while. The production team was, uh, it was a holiday in China. Last weekend in the Gold Coast, it was a holiday here. Sort of wiped out, like the last 10 days we haven't had our scheduled production meetings and it's sort of been chaos. Um, but that's usual, right? With the notion, bit of chaos here. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna get straight into it, give you an update on what's going on. There have been reports of bad wheel quality and uh, problems with lids. We've taken your feedback. We've pretty much got to the bottom of what we believe is going on there. Let's get to it. So the lid seals, um, it's a new part. We've just developed it. We've been working on it for ages. Unfortunately, the material that has been selected by the factory to make this seal, which let me show you what I'm talking about. Here's a lid. Okay, it goes around here. The original batch that they made were, it was too soft. So when it came out of the mold, it shrank too much. And then the shape of it didn't match our design. So it didn't fit in here properly. Then they made the material harder to prevent it from shrinking, which solved that problem. But what it means is when the lid is screwed onto, uh, onto the base, this is a pretty crude example, it basically meant it couldn't compress enough. So the lid seal material was too hard. So it was too soft. Then it was too hard, and now we're just fine tuning it. But unfortunately, there have been boards shipped out with the wrong stuff. So if you've got a lid and it doesn't fit properly, like if there's gaps, uh, visible gaps around there, that's a dead giveaway. Your board is not gonna be waterproof. Please don't write it in the water. Send an email to us, we'll get the replacement um, part the seal sent out to you as soon as we've got it perfect. It's just taking heaps longer than expected. Um, what else is going on? The wheel factory. This is a real serious issue. We're trying to get to the bottom of this. Basically, it's just inconsistency across the entire production of wheels. We've had good wheels, we've had bad wheels, and Trying to get to the bottom of it is really tricky. Um, a few things we can do to ensure that the quality is good. One is get the more samples, basically, which is what we're doing now. We've asked the wheel factory to fix up their act, make the, the parts better. So they've stopped production. They're not making any more parts. They've made samples. They need us to check it again so that they can confirm 100% what the raw materials are that we need. It's a painful process, but unfortunately we have to do that. So that is gonna impact our schedule because they're not making the wheels we need. But we get the samples, we check it, we make sure it's right, we confirm it. What we're also gonna do is introduce more stringent um, quality checking processes when we receive these things to try to identify if the material is bad or if it's not bad. It's really tricky with wheels because the only way to actually know is to put it on a skateboard, ride it down the street for half an hour and see if it disintegrates. Obviously, if we do that, um, you can't send those wheels to people because they're no longer new. So probably the best approach that we can think of at this point is every time our wheel factory makes a batch of wheels, we're going to send our engineer to that factory, randomly pick wheels, go and test them, and only if they pass the test do we collect the batch of wheels that they've produced. That's the only way we can think of that should ensure all of the wheels that we send out are good. So once again, if you've got wheels and, you, and they're not good, let us know. We've got 24 seven chat on our website. You can go there right now and just 
say, look, here's a picture of my wheels. They're cracking. We're not happy with them. And we'll send you out a new set of wheels. The good thing to just, I'll, I'll remind everyone, is we have a warranty on the Raptor 2. It covers manufacturing faults for 12 months. The other thing you can do, I'm not sure if anyone else in the Eastgate game offers this, you can extend that warranty to two years. You can go on there now and buy a longer warranty. And that means any manufacturing faults are covered. We will constantly strive to improve every single part of the Raptor 2. And if you've got a problem with it and you need it replaced, we'll send the part out to you and you'll it'll be fixed up and you'll be back on the streets. So what are we gonna make? In May, we've got we've got a production schedule. Let me let me show you this sheet. Basically, this is it's a Gantt chart, okay? It's pretty much the weeks mapped out um, and what we expect to do during each week. So in May, we've got two batches. Basically, the first batch is like early May and then another batch at the end of May. Because of the problems with the seals and the wheels, the second batch in May is probably going to get pushed into June which sucks, but we've got to get these parts right. We don't want to send out more boards and then just have people with problems that we have to fix. So we've got to get it right. June, we've got a huge batch in June. Now, once we've done the June batch, that's gonna really get us to a point where most, like 95% of our back orders, of the people who are waiting, are gonna have their boards sent out to them. Um, July, August, September is just us trying to stabilize our supply so that we've got stock, so that if people order, it, we just send it out of stock. So that's where we're at. So I've covered it. Oh, okay. Another thing. In terms of updates, uh, what's going on with production, problem solving, what we're doing, um, it's doing it in a video or whatever sometimes gets a bit hard for people to to stay up to date with because they might not watch that video and might not get all the information so we're going to start put, putting it all on our blog blog um in our website so in the past we've put information in videos we've put it into forum posts we've emailed stuff it's too scattered so we're going to put it just on our website on a blog and each month if we've or each week if we've got updates we'll just post it there so that everyone on the internet knows where to go to get the latest information i think that's just going to be easier i'm doing a huge blog update i'm writing it now it's ridiculously long it's going to cover the entire history of the raptor 2 going back to 2016 when i first started developing it the whole story every single delay every single problem we've ever had every reason that has ever existed that's caused delays with the raptor 2 you're going to be able to read about that and it was going to it's going to bring you up to now so it's sort of the past to now now into the future and we'll always update it so it's going to be a long read the first one but anyone who's interested is going to be able to see everything read everything know everything um absolute transparency is what we're about i don't know if you guys know barra but barra is based in chicago he's the founder of chi boards um in chicago a diy guy who started out diy who um started making like all-terrain tramper boards and building batteries and doing all sorts of stuff like that he works for inertia full-time now um, and he's just been promoted. He's going to be heavily involved in all of the supply communications, working with our network of repair agents all over the globe, uh, feeding back all the feedback from our customers. If there's any problems with the parts that we've sent out, any issues at all, Barry's going to collate all the information and make sure it always gets back to our um, project management team and our suppliers 
because we're just going to keep smashing them until the quality is perfect. We're not going to give up. Um, and in the meantime, if you've got a problem, you've got the warranty in place there. Like I said before, you can upgrade it to two years warranty right now. We're going to look after our customers. We're not going anywhere. We're dedicated to making the best goddamn electric skateboard we can. Anyway, that's enough for this video. Thank you for watching it. Um, you've got questions, write them in the comments below. As soon as I've written my mega blog update, I'll post it so you can all go and read the entire history of the Raptor 2 as well. Okay, see you later.